Hello and welcome, I'm Daily Fix, and today we're starting with a X4 Foundations playthrough. Now, I'm aware that Kingdom's End is most likely going to be released in March, and actually that is the perfect time for us to dive back into the game and see what it is that we can do in the three months until it actually is released. Now, what to expect from this particular playthrough. I want to treat this more as a tutorial slash guide series. I'll be going over how you probably could keep the patriarch alive, also how to get the research station as fast as possible but also efficiently, um, which actually has a an additional step. So hopefully you will be enjoying that. If you do, please consider leaving a like on the video and also fair warning in the future this is also going to be streamed now i will cut up the streams for everyone on youtube but if you are a channel member i will make sure you can actually see the entire vault um, just for the members so yeah hurrah for that hurrah for that let's get started with a new game and I've decided to go not with the uh, the flight school. Let's uh, click this, otherwise he will start uh, reading. I don't like that. Uh, but with Yangon. Even after everything that has struck over the last few decades, the Terran conflict, the Xenon, and the Jump Gates shut down, the Argon Federation has established itself as a key power in this new Jump Gate network. And even its most distant colony, Black Hole Sun, is a hub of trade and community. Opportunities are aplenty for all. Every day, scores of young pilots set out from the system for the first time, on their way to find adventure among the stars. Okay, so that is the story. I will try not to f talk through dialogue because I kind of hate that when I'm watching people. So yeah, let's dive into this. Val Selton's log, day one. I'm excited to get underway with this new ship. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do yet. Trading, exploring, am I brave enough to face combat? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be exciting. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing indeed. So what is our first step when we actually enter the game? Now for those of you who don't know, I'm playing the game with two joysticks. I quite like that for combat because I really enjoy the combat in this game. One of the first things that we will do is uh, take the highway towards the Hatikva. I think that is the most important step that you can do because the Hatikva's first mission will actually give you a additional ship with some decent modules that we will of course sell. And here we are. We have arrived. This is our ship. Ah, uh, it's good to be back. Now, I have my graphical settings up to high. Along the way, we will most likely change that. Now, for those of you who are interested in the FPS settings, so we have the FPS counter. Uh, we'll just put it on grave because we don't use that button. Anyways, get over here. And we're going to be changing our company's name i will call that daily fix because uh self-promotion on my own channel is allowed uh for me <laughs> all right let's get my own logo and default skin i don't really mind but there are some cool skins if you look over like the red and the quite like this one it's, it's a bit darkish it's fine let's take that let's get into the ship Elite Vanguard. yeah great okay let's undock and we're going to be taking the ship towards the Hatikva. And let's get out of there. If I push grave now, nothing actually happens. That's interesting. It should work. Maybe that key is also hooked up to something else. It's fine. We'll just go over. We'll set something else for this. Control General. Control P. There you go. Control P. So at the bottom you can see 80, which is not bad, not bad at all. 
Um, there's a bit of glare going on. Let's press the M key. Let's take a look. Where are we? So to get out of this area, we're just going over here. And our goal is, let's zoom out a bit, is the system that is over here. So let's set up a guidance. Go back. Oh man, it's so good to be back. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's hit that key. So we are going for the Hitikva's first mission. Uh, it's going to be important that Courier has some modules, I think. Out of the top of my head, we should be able to sell it for, I think, about three to 400. We don't sell the ship, though. The ship is going to be needed for when we are going to be doing the Bosatar mission. Is Bosatar? I think it is Bosatar. Looking very much forward to the Boron with Kingdom's End coming in. So, yeah, excited about that. How about you guys? Are you excited about... Yet a new DLC. What are things that you hope they would change? And what are things you just flat out don't like about the game? I would love to see that in the comment section. Okay, so we are over there. Hopefully the audio is also correct. Uh, it seems like the Xenon is uh, to the left. That's fine. We're not, we're not going to be bothered by that. We're not in a ship to uh, deal with with the Xenon. Kinda don't want to die. Well, you know what I love about this game? Speaking about that, it is, um, can I just, no, I can't do that with my mouse. That is unfortunate. I love the systems. You know, planets look absolutely amazing. I wish also that we could limit the FPS. Because I don't need it to be uh, at 90. Uh, I would love it to be Something different. Man, that's a lot of these uh, pirate. Actually, it doesn't have to be the Xenon. Because, of course, we have the pirate faction. And they are actually connected in this uh, system. system. Which we will also go into, of course. Uh, we can also go here. Now, there are, of course, a few that have been watching tutorial videos in the past. And thinking, let us go hunt for crystals. Please don't do that. Please. It it one time it will ruin ruin your free time. And it is just not how the game should be played. Also, they really nerfed that. So if you're watching tutorial videos about crystal farming, know that it is no longer the same. It is completely different. You won't get rich by it. You need to be extremely lucky. And uh, you can actually... Okay, speaking of crystals, there's one over there. Let's go over here. Well, we've seen it anyways. If it's going to be white, I will be out of my mind. But we can already see it is going to be blue. Uh, what's up with my mouse there? I don't like that. It's blue. Well, you know... This will reset... All of the crystals in the system. So what you will find now for its majority is going to be purple crystals. And you don't want those. Come here. Come here. There you go. Now, okay, that's gone. Don't forget to tractor them in. And there are some crystals here that are unstable. Now the unstable crystals you can use to build um, the uh, spacesuit bombs. But they're also illegal in this system. And it might be that we will have to drop them. Now, you don't have to drop illegal wares immediately. There's no real reason for it. Because if they don't spot you, why, why would you wake a sleeping dog, right? So, let them scan you, and as long as they don't tell you to drop your illegal wares, you won't have to do it. Now, uh, speaking of those, let's go into personal, we'll go into our backpack, and you can see we already made 150 due to the crystals. So, yeah, used to be a great way to make money. 
but no longer is that the case. Entering system. That Unless you're choice. watching someone that actually has a mod, there is, I think, a mod called Unnerve Crystals. Okay, at Digfa, where are we now? Oh, never mind, we're already there. There we go. Now, if you go into your missions, uh, which is over here, you'll see the Join the Trade Revolution, and we will do that immediately. You don't need to ask for docking permission. Uh, what you can simply do is just go to a trade dock, don't care about it, and just dock. And uh, the second you get close to it, you will get docking permission. Now, of course, this is a medium one, so that won't help. But this one... Docking granted. There you go. Docking is granted. Now, it's just a matter of aligning the buttons. Going down a bit backwards. Stopping. Bit, bit more. There we go. That should be fine. And we've made it to the Hetikva. Successfully docked. Let's get up. So why do this one? Well, it's all because of the free ship you'll get. And then, once you've done this mission, it is time to start scanning for Boza. Trade deal's been confirmed. That will be all. Please come in. I apologize for the state of the place. Things are rather hectic at the moment. We've signed a number of promising new trade contracts. But circumstances have left us spread a bit thin. Green, we have an issue with the inbound ore fighter. I hear you, doll. I'll be there in a minute. It seemingly never ends. We've prepared a freighter for you to fly over to one of our new partners. Honestly, as long as you can deliver those goods on time, I'll be happy. If you do that, the ship's as good as yours. If you screw us over, well, the worst we can do is revoke your docking privileges. Sorry to cut and run, but there's something that needs my attention. I look forward to seeing how you do. Okay, now with that you get a new ship. Now there is one other thing that you could have done, and that is use that pocket money of yours and get yourself a crew member. This crew member you can then promote on your main ship. So and you can have that ship just basically follow you. We won't That's be doing that because, well, we do the need to find the other now. trading posts. Uh, but for now, we, we are just going to go and get years. up. Uh, sorry, not get up. <laughs> Undock. Uh, we're just going to be following... Okay, we're going to be following where we are. Well, we need to find a way towards Silent Witness. Now, uh, that should not be too difficult. It is, I think, in the next system. Like I said, it's been a while. Since, it's been a while since I played. So you have to forgive my uh, my knowledge currently. So if we go over here, and then I think it should be on the bottom there. Usually these missions, not too difficult. Also, I love the music in this game. Uh, of course, a classic overshot. Didn't stop my uh, my engine in time. Oh my god! Seriously, you noob! Absolutely. I go down. That should be enough. And uh, let the game guide you. Um, this will actually bring us towards the Taladi sectors. Oh, lots of xenon over there. Alright, so it is actually giving us... That's my pause button, because I kind of want to have it paused right now. Silent Witness, over there. So the station, very, very nearby. What else do we find? Scanning array. Uh, we got silicon refinery. Medical, medical, plasma, engine... 
Uh, I'm kind of hoping that we would be able to find the items that we would need. Anti matter converter factory. That's the one I think. <clears throat> oh no, it's the converter one. I need the other one. The anti matter cells. Oh well. Well, once you find Bosa, or when you're in contact with Bosa, yes. you will be Auto able engaged. Um, to go and buy them because he will actually give you a location of them. Now, I was hoping that it would be a bit further out. To where we would trade this. What's going on over here? Medical components. And, and are you kidding me? anti matter cells. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? What is the inventory of this ship? We can actually pick some up. Stop. Alright. Um, you go there. I want those anti matter cells. We need three. <laughs> this is perfect. Uh, by the way, Come here, because you are absolutely not making my life easier at the moment. Empty matter cells just waiting here to be picked up. Oh, 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 oh. Go back. I'm in reverse. I'm not. I know that is not helping me, but it's just 300 meters. He's almost there. We'll fill up till our maximum capacity. Give it a bit. Oh my god. He is in orbit. Yeah, I know we can't carry. <sighs> Inventory items are small things that you can carry. I just need you to be tractoring this in. We should be able to carry something at least. Oh, actually, we are currently having 40 of them. <laughs> I thought it was funny, but here we go. Magpie. No, Vanguard. no, no, the other one. Eclipse. No. Vanguard. Cell I need to know what my button is again. There we go. Found it on my joysticks. Like I said, it's been. Identifying criminal vessels. Yeah, seriously. Civilian ship A. That's no longer. Criminals, if you shoot them eventually, you will get a, a positive relation. Now, say you have a negative 30. You can still get into a positive relation by just hunting those criminals. Don't shoot them at the station, but just hunting them. Now, you can see we immediately started docking. This, this ship actually has a good docking computer. Let's go trade medical supplies. All of it, but we're also, can we buy, sell the antimatter cells here? No, we can't. Oh well, that's fine. There we go. We'll wait for it to finish, and then we will find. Hello there, Captain. I understand you're delivering goods on behalf of Hatikpa. Please stand by while we run some checks. All clear. Sorry about that. We're happy to see Hatikva move away from those sketchy dealings of the past. If it means fewer scale plate pack ships in our space, I'm all for it. Just watch your back out there, Captain. Okay, let's undock. Thanks for your help. And there's the plus one reputation, also money. Now, if you are in a position to get the police licensing, it is um, going to be of vital interest and the reason I say that is it will flat out just just increase that money for criminals for attacking Xenon for attacking anything so exponentially it is absolutely worth it now um, where is that there is a shipyard somewhere but we'll take the highway for a second let's go open the map uh, I think the uh, it used to be the D key, I can't remember anymore. There is trading equipment, there's a large shipyard, there's another one. They're probably a bit further out. There we go. Okay, we are going to be docking up there. 
We're going to be stripping the ship. Taladi Wharf. Yeah, that's the one. That's too far away. 13 kilometers he won't be taking. Uh, once you hit 10, Docking you right. can dock. Now, when we've done this, what we will do is we'll start the Bostar mission. And we already now have a ship that is going to be uh, used to be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll demolish this. It will be blown up. Uh, yeah, we have Docking Computer Mark II, so we should just go in here. Hopefully we can sell the antimatter cells, except three of them. Docked. So let's see if we can actually sell them. We are unable to sell them, which is fine. We'll just keep the 40, whatever. It's free. We didn't buy them. Let us repair and upgrade. Now, we have a combat mark 2. Now, what is the cheapest that we could get over here? A all-round mark 1. Uh, an all-round mark 1. No shields. Uh, we're going to be removing the weapons. We're going to be... Removing the docking computer, the long range one, the police scanner, and the trade one we cannot remove. But already, look at this, a negative 455,000. We have a lot of navigational beacons, laser towers, and flares, which we don't need. 520 almost. Now, what we do need is a service crew member, and I'm going to be taking two. One of them... We're going to be sending towards our other ship. So, add to shopping list. This will take a while, like a minute. And hopefully, if I click my ship over here. Personnel. Yeah, it's already there. Let us right-click over here and transfer crew. Make him our captain. Confirm that. Now, in order for, him, for this ship to get a captain... What we need to do is get out of the seat, go back to the map, and then go to our... This is the right ship, this is the right ship. Promote best crew member to pilot. There we go, we now have two pilots. There he goes, he forgot to... He was so excited, he forgot his clothes. Calisto. Great, Sentinel. absolutely great. Yeah, he's busy because he is currently upgrading the ship. So we'll wait for that a bit. Come on. There we go. I want you out. Um, because by definition, I'm a, I'm a better pilot than he is. Now, we already start with a very, very healthy sum of money. And we didn't do anything. What we will do now is... This is travel mode. We'll go into scanning mode. And you can see down here, there is a signal. So let's start doing that. Let's go find it. And we don't have, no longer have weapons. So don't try to go after criminals. It, it would be quite funny if you do, but you know, not very beneficial. Now what we're looking for here is Docking static. Point. And the larger this, this signal is the closer you are to a signal. Now, it could be basically anywhere. There are mods to help you. And sometimes, you know, it's quite difficult to spot. So fly around a bit. And you will get a good indication if it's really, really large. Alright, so he's going to be scanning me. And I have some goods that are illegal. Okay, press F, drop cargo. Pause the game for yourself. Uh, I think we already dropped it. Drop all illegal. There we go. We could have sold 150, but we don't need to. Auto save. Auto save is your friend and your enemy. <laughs> Truly. I did. 
I, 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 I dropped the cargo, buddy. You know, uh, I honestly did. I don't know if it's the anti matter cells. Oh, he is a pirate! My god, he's a pirate! Never mind. Um, it's fine. Completely fine. Now we track to that stuff back in. He, um... He's done. There we go. Okay, where is that signal? Because now I want to get out of this position. We don't have shields. Usually, these cross connections... Are the ones you want to be on. Ah, uh, yeah, this definitely... There it is. There it is. Right, and this will probably trigger Bosa. One moment, please. Press F. Ah, that should do it. There we go. I had to disable my race filter. I was beginning to think my messages were being intercepted by those split fellows. I'm a little disappointed that it was this easy. I don't suppose they sent you, did they? Oh, that would be quite devious. Okay, who's they? Hmm. What should I call them? I suppose captors is quite apt. Employers? They let me work on my own projects some days, you see. You don't? Ah, yes, you see, I'm in a spot of bother. I'm in the middle of some important scientific research, which I'm unable to pursue personally from my current location. I'm looking for an assistant to aid me. I'll send the task to your ship computer. Okay, this we are going exciting. to be accepting it, and it, it will be on the nearest dock. Falcon, short range trans mass transport. Okay, that is F. annoying. Um, we know it's over there. Now, because we don't have a shield, keep in mind you cannot boost. Boosting is done by using your shield. But we'll go over that a bit more. What to do and definitely what not. Because sometimes boosting will actually really, really hurt you. Okay, let's go. We don't have the docking computer anymore, remember? Alright, uh, let's go in. There we go, that should be fine. Now, this is where we wrap up, guys. So, what did we do? Successfully done. Well, we got half a million, and we get still, we got 150,000 in the bank. We already have the additional ship that we will be using with Bosa and blowing up to get that station. Next time, we're going back to retrieve our one ship and we'll continue with the BOSA mission. This ship then, we will, uh, we don't have to send for the antimatter cells because we already have that, but we'll send towards the right location because we already know where that station is going to be, isn't it? So, all that and plenty more to come for you in the next episode. Don't forget to smash that like button if you are enjoying this type of content and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.